What's up everyone, in today's video, we're going to address how to deal with people getting in your shots in this episode of Ask SLR Lounge. My name is Pai and this is Ask SR Lounge where you all submit your questions and we do our best to answer them. Now this week we wanted to answer Edward Patnow's question asking, I am just wondering how do you deal with people who are always in the way destroying our spectacular moment like this one? This is a great question Edward and this is the shot that he's referring to. As a photographer or cinematographer, you're gonna run into plenty of situations like this. In fact, if you are an event professional, it's safe to say that on every single shoot, you're gonna run into situations like this. For this particular shot, we have an uncle who just happened to spring up and hop right behind the couple to get his own special shot during our couple's first kiss. But whether it is another professional in your way or one of the guests, bystanders, or anyone, it's going to happen. So we have a few recommendations for you. Now, our first recommendation when dealing with professionals is to communicate. We constantly hear about photographers and cinematographers complaining and criticizing each other behind their backs because they catch one another in their shots. But you know what? We all need to get our shots at these events. And we have an amazing working relationship with all the cinematography studios that Linen Jersey Photography has worked with. And it's simply because we communicate. So upon arriving at a shoot, I introduce myself to the lead on the cinema team. I introduce myself to his staff and I tell them that I'm very easygoing and I am. <laughs> and I want them to capture everything that they need for their product. So be sure to let me know if I need to get out of the way or do anything to help them out. In fact, oftentimes on these shoots, I'm holding gear, I'm doing certain things lighting wise to help out the cinema team, even though they're not a part of my company. Now, once they see that we're willing to help them to deliver a better product, they will generally reciprocate as well. And it builds a great relationship. From then on throughout the day, we work together and going into planned events like a ceremony, we're generally all shooting from three angles. We have one primary angle and two secondary angles. So we do something that we refer to as the stack. And this is where basically one cinema team member and one photographer team member are going to stack at a single location. They work together to capture everything from that angle and basically with all of us working from the three angles, we end up not getting in each other's shots. So we coordinate to make sure that everyone gets the shots that they need and most importantly, we all agree at the beginning of the day that if anyone is in the way, it's totally cool to just quickly say something. Don't have to worry about being polite or feeling bad afterwards. Now second, oftentimes when someone steps in the way, whether it be a guest or bystander, the easiest thing to do is to simply recompose your shot. When someone's in your shot, you can move, you can zoom, otherwise recompose the image, frame the person out or block the person with an object in your composition. So long as the person isn't being overly obnoxious, I would try to generally just work around them. Now last, when you're dealing with a guest that's being overly intrusive, what we do is we say to be assertive, firm, but polite. When a guest or bystander is completely in the way and there's no way that I can recompose, I'm firm, but I'm nice. I'll walk up to them and request that they move and stay out of a specific area. Now, generally we are rushed in these kinds of situations and oftentimes this kind of uh, asking them to move can be rather quick and brief. We don't wanna end up missing moments. So if I feel like I was rather short with that person, afterwards I always go back to the person, I apologize for being brief or short with them, I shake their hands, tell them who I am, I explain to smooth things over and build a relationship with them. After that point, they're not gonna get in your way, they're gonna respect what you're doing and they're not gonna go back to the guests or to their friends afterwards and complain about you being overly rude. Now in the shot that Edward asked about, there's simply nothing that can be done in this situation. The uncle taking this shot popped right out at that moment and anything that I would have done, whether it was to recompose the image or try and basically wave him out of the shot, it would have meant that I could have potentially missed the shot myself. So in this situation, the couple's gonna know that really this unfortunate event wasn't controllable. However, after I captured this shot, I went and showed the offending uncle and I explained to him basically what was okay, what wasn't, and you know what? After he saw the image himself and he saw him in the background taking the picture, he felt bad enough that I really didn't need to say anything. He was careful not to get in the way for the rest of the day and he was very respectful. The good thing is that since we're shooting from multiple angles anyway, we're generally always gonna have an additional usable shot from either the second or third shooter's angles. So hopefully these tips will help you out in dealing with these types of situations. This has been another episode of Ask SR Lounge. My name is Pi and I'll see you all in the next video.